Welcome, everybody, and uh, thank you again for uh, attending our press conference. Let me give you a little bit of the, of the format. Uh, we're changing a little bit today. Uh, after Tom speaks, we'll then hit Bob Wynn will coordinate a question and answer period with anybody that wants to ask any questions. Uh, we have another function that starts at 3 o'clock, uh, so we will wrap this up at that time. And uh, feel free again through Bob. Uh, acknowledge who you are and, and uh, ask whatever question you'd like to ask. Uh, today is special, uh, special for Tiger Athletics, special for the University of Memphis, special for our great city, for our Tiger Nation, and all people that follow us. We're extremely excited. I want to take just a moment and give special thanks to Dr. Raines. The President put together an incredible search committee, men who are right many who are right here in front, and we appreciate the efforts of the search committee, very much so. And I also uh, want to pay a special tribute to Dr. Raines. She and I have been together for 10 years, and she really worked hard on this. And uh, as one person said to me not too long ago, in the past two hours, she definitely upgraded the position. <laughs> that was my wife that said that. <laughs> So anyway, it's with a, uh, my boss for the past 10 years with pride and a lot of pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, I present our president, Dr. Shirley Raines. Thank you, RC, but it's 11. <laughs> 11 years <laughs> instead of 10. Uh, but welcome to the press conference. Thank you for coming. You know, choosing a new athletic director for the University of Memphis involved a lot of people. We're grateful for the very broad-based participation from those of you who nominated people, and we received lots of nominations, and from people around the country who applied. We're especially grateful for the work of the search committee, chaired by Mr. Alan Graff, Executive VP and CEO of FedEx Corporation, CFO of FedEx Corporation, a Tiger Athletics Ambassador and Chairman of the Tiger Scholarship Fund. Alan, will you stand so that we can... We're also grateful to others who served on the search committee, and I'm going to call their names and just ask them to stand, and you can applaud them collectively. Uh, Cato Johnson, Ali Prescott, uh, Brad Martin couldn't be here, but Willie Gregory is here, uh, Tom Watson, Paul Mann, Will Thompson, Sherry Lippman, Ed Stevens, and our president of student government, Tyler DeWitt. Please acknowledge their participation in the entire search process. The search committee and I wanted an AD who would continue the progress of Tiger Athletics developed over the last 16 years under the leadership of R.C. Johnson. The unanimous choice of the search committee is Tom Bowen, presently the athletic director at San Jose State. We're pleased that Tom has accepted the position and he'll begin work in June. Like RC, he has some assignments to finish up in his present role at San, Diego, at San Jose State. And he and his wife, Mia, have three children, Andrew 13, Peter 9, and McKenna 8, and they have to move from San Jose to Memphis. And so we'll have a little bit of time in there where both are finishing their positions and we'll get the move to Memphis. But please welcome to the University of Memphis and Tiger Athletics our newest Tigers, Tom Bowen and his wife Mia. Good afternoon. Thank you. 
for that wonderful round of applause and uh, goosebumps coming in the building here. I am just so excited and fired up to be here. And I will try to control my, uh, my excitement and kind of go through this press conference today. Um, I want to begin by thanking President Shirley Raines for allowing me to come and serve as the athletic director at the University of Memphis. It truly is an honor, and I am very excited to be part of the Tiger family. And I, I thank you all for the gracious and kind welcome I've had for the last couple of days. I also want to acknowledge Alan Graff, chairman of the committee and the full committee. It's been an, a wonderful search process. It was done with great integrity, and, and I really appreciate all of the support that you have given me. I want to thank those coaches I had a chance to speak and look forward to the coaches I haven't spoken with yet. And then finally, I want to thank R.C. Johnson, who has been an amazing man in our profession, a legend and a legacy here, and I am humbled and honored to follow in his footsteps. I am very excited about the opportunity that lies before us and the opportunities that lie ahead of us. It's great to be a Tiger. Thank you. Go Tigers. Taking questions now, I guess. Well, before we start, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please, uh, we would ask that you follow the same protocol as our last few press conferences we've had here. Adam Booster with our staff has a microphone. We are screening this, so we ask that you use the mic to ask questions. Please identify yourself and your media outlet uh, before addressing your question. And I believe I saw Jarvis Greer has been given to TV. First, Marcus. Marcus. Th th thank you, Mr. Greer. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Marcus Holiday, ABC 24, uh, what, what made this University of Memphis job so appealing to you when you first saw the opening and want to apply for it? Well, I think going through the process with uh, the national search firm of uh, Eastman Bodine and having a chance to really look at the University of Memphis and what's taken place here prior to the, to the acceptance in the Big East and then getting into the Big East and where you're going and wanting to be a part of that. And it's exciting because the young coaches that are here and the seasoned coaches that are here and the success that's, that continues to be a part of this yeah, program. And then the academic component here that's very much important to me. Where I'm currently at, or where I was currently at, the academic success of my student athletes was priority one. And I wanted to be the university where that mattered as well. Where, where in our vision at, at where I was before, and I believe that vision is here, is a championship ring on one hand and a diploma in the other. And that's what I want to be a part of. And this is a chance to continue that and to continue to build that and I'm excited, and I think that's kind of one of the reasons why I was first contacted by the, the Eastman Bodine people that I said, yes, absolutely, I'd like to be considered. And I figured there was a lot of guys more qualified than me that were going to get this job. So I am humbled and honored that you selected me. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Bowen Jarvis Greer, WMC TV News. Uh, I'm a graduate of this university and happy to be one, and glad that you're aboard. First of all, a little bit about your background and what makes you feel like this is the spot for you and, and what's prepared you to reach this level. My background, so um, I spent, well, I spent the last seven and a half years at San Jose State, FBS school, re, you know, building a new football program and repairing an athletic program that had fallen on some very difficult times financially and competitively, academically, was in penalty and had some things going on there. Prior to that, I was in the NFL. I worked for the San Francisco 49ers. Had a great opportunity to be part of that. I'd been at Cal Berkeley, and I'd been at St. Mary's College, and at De La Salle High School, and some other places in between. So felt very confident I could come in here and continue the traditions and the legacy that had been set up by your previous AD and its leadership and what you were doing, and I wanted to be a part of that. Um, and felt I could bring to the table my unique um, set of qualifications that are, that are diverse. Uh, I have a lot of background in external work, external affairs, fundraising, media, development, advancement, stewardship, uh, certainly in hiring and, and building and helping seasoned and young coaches and felt I could be a part of that here. Mr. Boyle, Marcus Holiday again, ABC 24. What are some of the biggest challenges you see here for this athletic program, especially trying to get the football team uh, up and running and back on a successful level? Well, I, I think the challenges are those that, I'll, that we'll certainly get into when I, when I become official in June, which is June 18th is when I'll be official. But um, it's exciting. I, I had a chance to meet with Coach Fuentes, and uh, that's a very good football coach with a very good football staff and some really hardworking young men that are ready to come out and defend their home turf and wear this university's name proud on their jersey and go out and compete and win. So I think you have a very good setup here in football, and I'm excited to be a part of that. 
Tom Glenn Carver with News Channel 3. Welcome to Memphis and congratulations, first of all. When you took over uh, at San Jose State, you had a 100-day program you'd outlined. Do you still hold to that philosophy here? What would be involved in the, those 100 days? Um, I would say that we'll probably hold to those kind of benchmarks because they've been successful. Will we do 100-day benchmarks? Right now, I, I had a brief meeting with the senior team. It went, went very well. And I really think there's some opportunity here to continue to build on those priorities that were already in play and then some of the priorities that we'll put together when I come in June. Like I said, right now, you know, the athletic department is going through the finalizations of the last days of RC and, and those great moments. And then in June 18th, we'll start our new moments. Tom, hey, it's, uh, hey, Kyle Vizi at the Commercial Sorry, Appeal. I'm a little blinded here. It's just, hey. holy smokes. I'm uh, waving at you over here. I was back in California in the, in the beach here. It's, whoa, man. <laughs> I read Sorry. quite a bit about the, the challenges that you inherited with San Jose State football. What, what did you guys do to turn that around? Well, it was kind of a, a, a process of, of uniting a, a city and a university and an academic community and an alumni base and some former great players and people to come together and say that we're going to focus on doing it the right way. We were going to be very good students and athletes second. And at the same time, we were going to make the university proud of us. We started an external campaign where we went to, we tried to go to every high school we could in California and let people know that we were alive and well playing football at San Jose State. And uh, I hired Dick Tomey, and he came, and those of you who don't know Dick Tomey, he's one of the finest gentlemen in, in football, and came out and said he didn't care how hard it was, he was here to make San Jose State competitive again. And we, everybody linked arm and arm together, and we went out and we talked to everybody we could. We went to every public meeting we could, we talked to every external group we could find, and just said, hey, let's all get together and let's build San Jose State football back to where it used to be. And we did. And then Dick retired, and I hired Mike McIntyre, and we're back on the same road. So things are good. And we're out of penalty for the first time. Uh, I'm not we anymore. Uh, my former university is now out of penalty. And they're back to 85 full scholarships for the first time. When Dick and I were there in 06, and we won the New Mexico Bowl, we had 67 men on scholarship. Won nine games that year. So I don't know if that was answer your question or not, but kind of I think that's what you're looking for. Thank you. Go Tigers.